Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm reviewing a few fragrances today. Uh, the third episode, I'm going to do a MAC perfume. I think this is my very first MAC review. Uh, I wanted to review the whole line, but sadly this is discontinued. And uh, I have a lot of stories to tell you about this fragrance. I have uh, memories of it. And this is a special perfume for a few reasons. Please keep watching, then you'll understand. I got this in recent times. Um, I already uh, sold the bottle uh, to one of my friends and she's going to take it soon. And these are very hard to find. Now it is very expensive and they are so worth it if you like the house of Mac and uh, the concept because Mac makes some of the best, uh, what is that, makeup and then lipsticks and stuff. I'm not expert on those fields but I will tell you I lived in Malaysia so I used to see these Mac, uh, you know, L'Oreal and then the Chanel Dior boutique. So they all had their different products. So I'm used to the boutiques, right? So Mac, I have another fragrance that uh, I'm going to borrow and review, which is similar to Tuscan Leather of Tom Ford. This is similar to another Tuscan uh, Tom Ford inspired perfume, which is very popular, which is called Tobacco Vinny. And Tobacco Vinny is definitely my top five Tom Ford of all time. You know, I love that fragrance. You know, Tom Ford has some of the best gutsy fragrance out there, creative. And I think Tom Ford does really well when it comes to perfumes. But when I'm talking about Tom Ford, let me tell you about Mac. Uh, when I was in KL, I, I keep bringing this story because my life, half of it sp was spent in Malaysia. I know Malaysia more than my uh, own country, Bangladesh, like the roads. I drove there, the food, everything I know. So Malaysia is my second home, always in my heart. So when I was still there, before I left in 2016, and these fragrance were launched at that time, I think. And they had the whole beautiful line of bottles they had. In they were inspired by different, different lipsticks. Okay, so the name of lipstick and the perfumes were same. These are 50 ml. And I think they're going for, if I'm not mistaken, or 55 to $65 and they're not cheap at retail. So I wanted one of my friends to buy them for me, but when he went, they're all taken down sadly. Okay, later on, they're all discontinued. So yesterday, my friend Henrik, I think he told me that this perfume is really nice. He likes it and he suggested me another one, which is very challenging. I forgot the name, but I think I will, I'd like to try, try more MAC perfumes. So there you go, the story of MAC. So they only came in uh, 30, 50 ml bottles, I think. Yes, 50 ml. And these are, I think, in EDP concentration. Yes. So MAC, the MAC is very big brand. You guys know that. And the information, some of it is at the back. I didn't check out where they're from. But now I think whoever owns Tom Ford, thanks to Brother Henrique yesterday, who informed me, whoever owns Tom Ford, they also own this. Is it Estee Lauder or L'Oreal? I don't know. I forgot, sorry. And the bottles are very beautiful very very beautiful this is the name i like velvet teddy it reminds me of ted the movie love that movie love 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 that movie okay um the glass is kind of frosty this kind of like plastic this glass and this is like mac written absolutely beautiful presentation okay i don't have to spray this because i know i sprayed already let me show you actually spray i'm not wearing anything on my hand here okay let's just go a little bit dash of it because i don't want to waste the juice okay now this perfume I have covered quite a few tobacco vinny clones, not quite a few, a few. One of them being Frank Bocklet tobacco. I'm not bringing them out because literally at this side, this side I have a couple of boxes. All the perfumes are stacked up. I'm losing track of fragrance. And this side, I have a few other boxes where my perfumes are. If I have to take out my fragrance I want to show every day, I have to literally take out 50, 60 perfumes. And it's tedious work. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to tell you the name. Frank Bocklet tobacco. And then another one was, I think, um, recent time, what was it? Al Haramein Amber Wood uh, Tobacco Edition, or uh, you know, the tobacco one. You know, I reviewed it, one of my best, most favorite tobacco veni clones. And I did say, if you have those, you don't need tobacco veni. And tobacco veni is so expensive. I don't mean to say you don't need tobacco veni, you do need in your life, but that price tag, can you afford it at this point? Not everybody can afford it. They're super uber expensive now. Before they used to be $250, $260, now they're well above. 350 bucks, I think, for 100 mil. Smaller bottles go 250 bucks. That's a lot of money. This one's $55 when it was there. Now I paid, I think, 55 or 60. I forgot. It's still worth it because it's such a good pricing compared to the Tom Ford. Such a good pricing, nice little bottle. Uh, but some of the countries you can find it up to $30, I think. That is great in Europe. Okay, so the reason is not the price point. The reason is how nice this smells. So basically, you know, tobacco veni smells of tobacco, vanilla, and kind of like spicy, smoky, uh, not everybody's cup of tea, but it's a very daring fragrance. It's like right out there, like 
my favorites are Black Orchid, uh, Tom Ford Noir Anthracite, Noir Extreme, and some of the other ones, Noir De Noir, Tuscan Leather. These are my favorite Tom Fords, okay? So when you talk about Tom Ford, Tom Ford doesn't throw out something ordinary. They always have to be something extraordinary, something that challenges your nose, nose something that will make you sniff something new you know they don't copy anybody tom ford is a creative director he used to work for ysl or rather work with ysl m7 like brands and he literally made a lot of heat perfumes like heat means like uh, i think during his time ysl m7 was released and i think uh, gucci purum one gucci purum two rush gucci uh, was the other one there was another gucci there um, man, I forgot. Um, I mean, I have that bottle somewhere. Gucci NV. So, you know, Tom Ford is a genius. He has some of the best suits under his belt. And I think, did they sell their brand? I'm not sure. Like, Creed did for sure. But coming back to the discussion, Tobacco Veni is one of my top five. Why? Beast mode, activated. Beautiful smell. Beautiful, gorgeous little winter perfume. I just love it. Check out on Fragrantica if you haven't by any chance. But if you don't want to pay the price, you should get the MAC. As good. It's just cleaner version. Tobacco Vini and Tuscan Leather have this little bit of dirtiness, you know, like Tom Ford like to throw that, you know, it's like they throw some of the dirty vibe in their perfumes. I'm not saying in a negative way, I'm saying a positive. So kind of like you think of sex, you know, you think of uh, naughty stuff. This is sexy too, but this is more polished and this is more gentle in a way. It It's definitely a bit powdery. Oh, there's another fragrance. I have a, a perfumologist, Tonka something, Tonka... Ah, man, see, when I don't have the bottles, I don't remember. But there's like a little bottle that's also Tobacco Veni clone. But Tobacco Tonka Veni lighting, that's the name. Anyway, so this one has Tonka beans, sweetness. It has a little bit of powdery, uh, sweet vibe, okay? So it's a Tonka bean base. If you ever smell Fave Delicious, you like this. If you do like the note of tobacco, you'd like this. If you like vanilla, you like this. Spices, they are a little bit there, but not so much. It does smell like the lipstick, though. So I feel there's a bit of iris in there, so the lipsticky vibe. So if you do like uh, Bois d'Argent or something like Ambre Nuit or Ambre Nuit of Dior or Fave Delicious, if you do like Tobacco Veni and Dior Homme, Valentino Vumo, these kind of fragrances, you know, a little bit of this style perfumes, Valentino Vumo, you'll definitely like the sweetness of it. It's very lovely, very long lasting. Um, on me, I guess constantly seven, eight hours, okay? so. Definitely do not need so much spray, but sadly, you will not find it readily available. That's the saddest thing. Uh, you will not find this in the market all the time, but it's my privilege. It's my honor to have found it and reviewing it. I'm searching for a lot of vintage and a lot of discontinued perfumes. This is one of them. Okay, definitely a beautiful, gorgeous. I think so far, this is their best release. This is the one that got me interested in their line. So a lot of talk. I'm sorry. I'm a bit excited. I had some coffee, but I think Velvet, uh, Teddy. Cool name, cool presentation, and the price I have no issue with. I paid a lot more than a lot less before. Absolute quality, absolute stunning unisex perfume, and it's more wearable, tobacco veni. At a budget, but not super cheap, okay? So there you go. Overall, so impressed with it. But if you want more beefy version, go with the Haramine one. Go definitely with that. They'll get more smoke. You'll get so much uh, more performance from them. Um, Al Haramine. Ambarud Tobacco Edition, okay, that was, that's going to be the ultimate uh, beast, but this is somewhere right behind it, okay, seven, eight hours, you cannot argue with the performance, okay, so nice little perfume, I'll give it overall, since it's a small bottle, I'm giving it nine, not perfect, if it was 100 ml, I would love to pay $120 for it, okay, but anyway, no problem, great fragrance, great concept, if I missed out some information on it, please leave it on the comment section for others to read, it will help others, I'm not the um, most complete reviewer you know you guys know that i miss out information i forget stuff i'm getting old so please help others if you have, there are any information i missed you know which are important take care thank you so much i'll see you soon good night from dhaka bangladesh bye, -bye.